Nice to see you, Riley. Riley, can you tell me how old you are? Two. What's your name? Riley. What's your name? So today we are going to have a fun fitness day in LA, like a fun little health wellness day. I haven't gone out into LA and like really explored like the quote unquote free things to do and just like the different things. I'm going to save it for the video, but I do, I am going to wash my face because I don't, I'm probably going to be out for some time. So I don't want to like have a dirty face. We haven't done a morning routine in quite some time. So here's my updated morning routine. It is a little bit different than um, my usual, but I use a La Roche Posey still. Other skincare brands have been trying to get me onto their like skincare and I do try it out but just nothing is as perfectly strong and hydrating as La Roche Posey and they won't sponsor me which really sucks but you know what it is what it is and I'm still going to buy the product. So. What's up dude? There you go. Sleeping me. Bye. 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 Thank you. You too. So, if you ever gotten a facial, they make sure the product is super foamy just like this. And this is what I do. I try to literally mimic my facial. And they don't scrub hard. They don't scrub fast. They scrub really slow, just like this. I feel this just helps the product already. It, first of all, foaming up your um, cleanser helps it. It totally cut me off, but foaming up your cleanser helps it so it activates the product. And then gently mixing it into your skin so you protect your, your I don't really know like the exact terminology, but it's like your barrier, like your first barrier of your skin. You don't want to break it because that's what keeps it like all together. So then you just want to like dab your face. You don't want to rub your face ever. And then for my next step, this is just my morning routine. If you guys want to update a night skincare routine, it is way different. Um, but I do use the Mario Badescu Cucumber Green Tea Aloe Facial Spray to pre-moisturize my skin. I love this stuff. It's really nothing but like a nice wake up refresher. Cucumber is great for your skin. Aloe is great for your skin. It's pre-moisturizer. It like helps your moisturizer get deeper into your skin. And to top it all off, I have way too many products. You guys look how many products I have. Okay, this is my product. <laughs> my product, my skincare product. Um, whatever drawer or cabinet and I have everything these are all the products I've already thrown away so many products but those are all the products that I just can't part with and that I use like on different occasions and debating on how my skin is acting up and they're really good products um so, oh my god and everything keeps falling out because I got too much products but I don't have a facial moisturizer because I haven't found anything that works well for me in the morning. And I feel like moisturizing morning and nighttime is just way too much for my skin. It just produces too much like moisturizer and it gives me acne. So I use, that's why I use that facial spray because it is moisturizing. And then I use a lot of sunscreen. This is the Isodine sunscreen. This sunscreen, I've only gone through like three different sunscreens. It was the um, Elta MD and the Neutrogena sunscreen. Those were the two sunscreens I was trying out most of my life. And then um, my cousin who's becoming like, she's kind of, I don't know what the exact word is, but she really is in medical school for skin. And she told me about this sunscreen and then I need to switch over because the other screen sunscreens have X, Y, and Z that are bad in them. And I was like, okay. And so I took her word for it and this sunscreen has changed my skin's game. It just actually seeps into the skin. It feels like it's making it healthy. It's really penetrating and I just love it. It's really changed my overall skin pattern. So I definitely recommend looking into good products. So let's get ready for the day. I never like looking like a bum. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. Normally I would wet it first, of course, but I kind of wanted to wear a hat but then like who wants to wear a hat while they sweat? 
But let's see. Let's see what our options are. So I could wear one of these, which is definitely more my style. I'm not really like a huge hat girl. I just don't really love like it's not that i don't love hats i would love to be a hat girl but like hats don't love me it's just they're just not my thing it makes my forehead itch and they just don't see this is just too old i feel and it's just not has to at least <laughs> no i can't go we're going to Runyon Canyon, which is a very bougie LA style thing, and everybody looks their best. And not that I care to look amazing, but I don't want to look terrible. You never know who you're going to meet out here in LA. Okay, option two is this bad boy. These are really the hats that like I like that don't bother me. I just don't want to look like a slob. And I feel very slobby. I mean, of course I could wear my hair out and that doesn't look terrible, but this doesn't look good. Like, this isn't giving me, like, confidence. So, I think this is what I wanted to do at the beginning anyway. I think I'm just going to try to slick my hair some type of way, just so that way it's out of my face. It's not. I don't have to wear a hat. The thing about hats is they're, like, every single time you wear them, they're full of bacteria. So, it's going to get into your skin and it's not going to help anybody. Okay, <laughs> so I think this half up, half down action is something I'm going to relive. Um, just because I never really wear my hair like this. And it does look cute. And this way, getting my hair in a full slick back is pretty re unrealistic. Because my hair is too dry and I don't have my spray bottle. I don't know who threw away my spray bottle. What happened to my amazing spray bottle. But it's nowhere to be found the thing i hate about this hairstyle is it does hurt um to take back out it just does um but yeah i think this is a good look uh unless like you section off your hair it looks it, it does not hurt but i'm too lazy so yeah i think this looks good and decent and like i'm going to work out like we don't need to look amazing i don't care i'm not one of these girls I mean, I am one of these girls, but I'm not at the same time. Like, you know, we're just going to work out and that's that. So I am going to take Holly today. I'm really excited. All my friends weren't available, of course. I asked them this morning. Nobody's available and that's fine. Um, so I'm going to work out with Holly today. And I'm excited because she never really gets to see new things like she does. Like we take her on walks and stuff, but it's just the same walk. So I'm excited for her to come with me and I've been wanting to take her with me places but like we're always afraid that we're gonna get kicked out if we bring her and this is a hike so should be all good fingers crossed let's go this is my gym outfit minus the crocs of course this is what I'm gonna wear to Runyon Canyon really excited because I've been wanting to do more like things and free things because stuff in LA is really expensive and it adds up really fast and as you guys know I'm saving for a house I'm saving to buy something and every single expense that I spend is doing nothing but taking me away from my house so that's why how much you want to bet she's right here oh wow you weren't waiting I told her I was fed up with it because she kept bugging me all morning Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This little dog is just not good off the leash, and I hate to discriminate, but he's not coming, and he thinks he is, and he's not. He's, you're not. You're just not gonna. Pow. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a bag. I really like this bag just because it's loose and whatever, but I feel like it's not really, like, giving for the outfit. And I know it's not a big deal, but it is, so I think I'm just gonna wear a backpack. I have this normal black backpack. I'll be taking my water, my AirPods, and a chapstick. My AirPods. This is my um, bag that I normally carry right now. So I need my chapstick, hand sanitizer, take one of my relaxing pens, and some sunnies, because it does get sunny out there. And then I'm also gonna take my other thing this is literally zero nick it's not a nicotine vape i just like to feel 
a part of the crowd because everybody has one of these and I don't smoke them you guys should not smoke them I'm not a judger but I am a judger kind of when it comes to these because these are really bad for you and they're super addictive and if you really just want to be a part of the crowd like me because I feel left out and like everybody has one but I don't want one I don't want to get addicted or anything like that I don't like them so I just get the zero nick one so that way I can still be a part of the crowd have my thing but I'm not actually dying on the inside so a little pro tip okay let's get mommy ready come here mommy Bobo really thinks he's going I feel terrible but you guys he's the worst dog like he is not worth the headache like he just and I know it's like, you know, you're discriminating and he really wants to go, but that's, you know, maybe if you were a better dog, you would get to go. I'm like, I don't know what to say. Okay, I don't know how to put this on me, mommy. Why is it so twisted? I guess it goes that way. Holly's gonna come because she's a good girl. You're just, he just... He would go, like, Holly doesn't go in front of anyone. She doesn't act up. She's just a good girl. Like, Bobo just needs more training and to go this far. I do take him on walks, but to go this far public is just not a good idea for anyone. It's not for you, pal. She is ready for her hike. It's going to take us 33 minutes to get to Runyon Canyon. So, let's... Starting route to Runyon Canyon Park, Fuller On entrance. the road. You ready, girl? Okay, guys, look. Runyon Canyon gives all these snacks where you can tip and do all this stuff. But I'm going to give Holly a treat, a dog treat. Come here, Mommy. You want a treat? Look at these treats. Look at these treats, Mommy. Oh, are you being a snob? You don't want the treat? These treats aren't good enough for you? Ah, eat it! Wow, she thinks these treats are trash. So, that's interesting. Anyway, I don't want any of these, so we'll just come back another time. Uh-oh. No, she's fine. Here, Holly, Holly, come here. We're gonna come in here and get some dog treats. I know, she oh, doesn't like in. them. Got you. Come on. All right guys, so this is Runyon Canyon. Everybody brings their dogs here. Holly's too spoiled for these types of treats, clearly, but she is loving all the dog smells. So we have to find our trail, but first we have to go up this mountain and then pick which trail. I wanna do the hard one, of course. So we're gonna figure that out. Come on, mommy. If I would've brought Bobo, this would've been a disaster. All right, I decided to let her off the leash. Look at this great view, guys. Every dog here is off the leash. She's an off the leash dog, so she should be fine. But this view is just so crazy. I'm already tired. I'm not tired, I'm just kind of winded. Um, she's living her best life with her new pal. This is something, if you're in LA, you could do, and it's free. And beautiful views, great lighting and good vibes with your dogs. So Runyon Canyon in Melrose. I really wanna to go to Earth Cafe, I think, cause they'll let her come. So we're gonna have a whole girl's day. I think that's what we're gonna do. Cause we've officially made it to the top and I thought that we would just be able to walk. I thought we could walk up and walk down. That's how it used to be, but they redid it. And now you just walk up and you walk right back down. So now we gotta walk the same way we came all the way up here just to walk right back down. Kind of a bummer. She's really tired, but we've taken quite a bit of a break. Now we gotta head back down. Come on, Mom. Well, babe, so that was some LA vibes for you guys. Holly is dripping and drooling all over the car. It's absolutely disgusting and definitely not what I want. Um, but we had an amazing time, didn't you, Mom? She saw all the dogs, all the friends. I actually am putting together a TikTok that was like how many dogs or what type of dogs I saw um, on my hike at Runyon or how many dogs I saw at Runyon. And they're all so unique and bougie dogs. All the dogs we saw at Runyon Canyon today.
My Holly girl, named after Hollywood. Holly is just in her dead zone. Um, <laughs> but thank you for tuning in. We have one more LA girl stop. I still want to keep the cheap vibe, so I'm not going to go eat, but we will be doing something else. So stay tuned for the rest of this video. Um, but yeah, it's time to head back towards the house and see what else we got in store for this vid. Holly, I'm sure, is like literally taking over the whole camera, but it was the best day ever for her. Let's see how many steps we got. For those of you that don't know, you have a heart app on your phone where it can track how many steps you got. That hike got us 7,138 steps, which is a lot of steps. I never get 7,000 steps a day, even though I totally should get close to 14. But I'm gonna start doing this daily because I need that many steps. You already know the vibes. What is an LA day without some Starbucks? Oh, mommy. And they got puppuccinos for you. Now, I know what you're thinking. Riley never gets Starbucks. Riley always makes her tea at home. But I've honestly, I haven't been craving Starbucks, but I've been craving going to Starbucks because I never go. So I'm happy to say I'm taking a Starbucks run today. Also, so my Holly girl can get a little treat. And yeah, I just wanted a Starbucks. I want my classic tea from Starbucks in my Starbucks cup. And I want to wait in line, the long last line for Starbucks because that is sometimes a vibe when you have nothing to do. I had a photo shoot planned for today. I had a job, I was gonna get paid, the whole shebang. But the thing about this job is until you actually show up on set, nothing's set in stone. So she changed it to Friday, which is fine. But that means that I, canceled out my whole day today to do that and then it had to get pushed so now I don't really have anything to do so I have a lot of free time which is why we're doing all these fun LA activities so first let's see what we're going to order even though I just told you guys Riley what can I get for you um give me one second you got it just let me know when you're ready okay thank you okay I'm ready can I get a black iced tea lemonade please yeah what size venti you want sweetener with that? Yes, please. You got it. What else for you? That's it. Okay, 425 out the window. Thank you. Oh, sorry, and a puppuccino. And a little puppuccino. You got it. Thank you so much. No problem. Bye. Gotta get the behind the scenes for the gram, you know? You know, Mom, you ready for your puppuccino? Hi. Hello, it's gonna be 425. Thank you. That would get so cute. Thank you. <laughs> She's gonna love this Here puppuccino. Thank you. Hey, the mom. <laughs> she's ready. She's looking at it like, that's for me. That's for me. That's for you. That's for you, pretty girl. She's ready. I'm trying to not make the camera fall. Okay. First, let's try. Mommy, you want to sit up? So they can see you. They can't see you. Okay, let's try my black iced tea lemonade. This was something that I would get at Starbucks. I also would get the green tea lemonade. Very simple gal, but... Mmm. It just hits different. It just does. Okay, mommy, you want a puppuccino? Come on, sit up. Here's your puppuccino. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this a different way. Um, let's see. Here we go. Want your puppuccino? Your special order? She's tired. She's tired. Did you love it or did you love it? She's licking it off. All right, I don't know about you, girl. She already had breakfast. I didn't eat breakfast yet, so let's go in and eat some breakfast. So unfortunately, all we have is eggs, so that's what I'm making, and I don't like to add any butter to my bread, even though I know it tastes amazing, but it's just extra calories for no reason. Even though I do have vegan butter, I wasn't using butter because I had... I don't like the normal, I mean, I love the normal butter, but I try not to eat too much dairy, so I might put on butter today. But I love, love, love these exact English muffins. The Thomas English muffins are absolutely amazing. They're lower in calorie, my mom says, so they're 150 calories for one, which is pretty high, to be honest. That's more than what I thought, but they taste so good. I really like them, and that's what I'm gonna have for breakfast. So let's cook it up. So for starters, of course, we're gonna season. I love an excessive amount. All these eggs are not for me, by the way. Trey is coming home. But I love an excessive amount of pepper. I don't know what my obsession with pepper is, but I love it. And there's a lot of eggs in here, so lots of pepper. I love to use 
a splash of garlic salts because garlic is always good on everything last time i like over seasoned these eggs though and nothing's worse than like super salty eggs so even though trey loves over seasoned eggs but not i i still think that was too much but i have like 17 eggs in here like that should be fine i'm gonna really try i always get a venti starbucks because i feel like that's the vibe like i probably only drink a tall starbucks but the vibe is to get a venti have a big girl drink and drink a venti the vibe is not a tall so even though i'm probably not gonna drink it i don't know why i never finish my starbucks drinks but i finish my drinks and make it home so i don't get starbucks i don't know why people don't know how to clean dishes around here but i gotta re-clean this because it's freaking dirty that's disgusting So I know this looks disgusting, but it's called ghee and it's basically like an expensive bougie cooking oil and that's what I use on my eggs so it's going to taste really bomb. Trey just got home so we can go ahead and get started. He likes sourdough so I put some sourdough toast in the toaster for him. And then key to eggs is covering the pan so it makes it nice and fluffy. So that's not the right pan. That's not the right pan. Is that? Yes, perfect fit on medium. Must finish $7 Starbucks tea. Not sure if it was $7, but it feels like $7. I think it was $4. And then when it starts to like spoof up like this, we're gonna start flipping her over. Ooh, I hope she didn't burn a little bit. No, it's perfect. And then you just wanna get the rest of these oils in here. And then at this point, it should take like two seconds to finish. See, look, already finished. I literally give so many people props for video recording while cooking because every single time I do this, the toast is it's pretty perfect, but it's a little over perfect. Sourdough, you want it to be like barely go golden because it gets way more crispier than other bread. Um, my, my English muffin, I like for it to be a little bit more burnt, so that's okay. But yeah, like I always misdo something when I'm recording because I just get sidetracked. And then I also had some leftover um, roasted potatoes, so I just put them in the air fryer. So that way we can have some roasted potatoes as well. Okay, so this is all his toast. Obviously Trey needs a lot more carbs than me. And then most of these eggs are for him. Eggs are super high in protein, of course, and they're pretty good for you, and it's a nice breakfast. Of course, I know he loves bacon, but this is all we got, okay? And we make do with what we got, and I'm really hungry, so I want damn near the same amount of eggs. Get in the habit of cleaning your dishes while you cook because for those of you that have been with me for a really long time, when I lived in Illinois, I did not want to cook and clean. Like I was like, if I cook, you clean, but you know, like everyone's tired and sometimes we just don't want to really clean. So if you get in the habit of just cooking, cleaning while you cook, it just makes it easier because nobody likes overnight dishes. It's disgusting. Everybody hates washing those and it's just better for long-term longevity so I really just got in the habit once I moved back home I got in the habit of um, cleaning my dishes and learning taking advantage of living at home and um, learning how to cook more and just doing all that so that way it's like when you live at home and you're learning how to cook it's a lot easier because your mom's paying for the groceries at least that's my case I have some bills but not a lot so I'm trying to take advantage of that and really um, learn how to cook, learn how to, you know, take on those responsibilities that I just didn't really have when I was in Illinois and I really saw that I needed more time of like growing up before I move out because I just wasn't ready. Even though I could do it financially, I'm just not ready like mentally. So being at home, take advantage of your groceries, learn how to cook at home so that way you're not spending all that money while you're out and when you're learning because honestly i've been learning i've been trying to learn how to cook for like over a year now and i know how to cook like i know how to cook but i'm talking about stuff that i really like like salmon and pokey and steaks and all those types of things which i've came a long far away but i really want to know how to make them really well enough that's better than like a restaurant 
salads, hands down I got, pokey hands down I got, salmon I've got, um, but it's mainly like Trey's food and then a couple other things that I want to learn so that way I can just make it at home. But if you're already moved out and learning how to cook, it tends to get really expensive and you're cooking food that you don't like and then you end up eating out and then you just pay double. So take advantage of living out. I'm going to try, Trey hasn't walked through the door yet. He's talking to his dad. So I'm gonna try these eggs first and then I'm still gonna get his reaction. He won't know mine. Oh my God, oh my God, thank God. Mm. Amazing. Perfect amount. Such a good girlfriend. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're crippling? Yeah, she saw. I mean, they saw. I took him with me. Let me just get some of these. Potatoes. Alright, babe. He wants to go take a shower, but he has to try the food first so I can close out my video. Mm, it looks fire. I already know the potatoes fire. Yeah, we had those yesterday. Ooh, hurry, hurry, hurry. My thing's about to run out of time. <laughs> Alright, babes, it's time to edit my video because this was video was done the same day that I am posting it. <laughs> so um yeah, thanks for tuning in. Yes, Trey loves the food. Sometimes simple is just as good as the good stuff. Cheers. Hope you had an amazing day. Hope you enjoyed my LA girls day with Holly. She's exhausted. And I am going to now edit and finish the rest of my food. Bye. I see you, Riley. Riley, can you tell me how old you are? What's your name? What's your name? Oh, wow.